All right, what's going on guys? So I made the drive down to Miami, gonna be fishing a new inlet. Um, all week it was really, really nice weather, and of course the one day off this week that I have to fish, uh, it rained a lot on my drive down here. Right now it's still windy and still super, super cloudy. So not sure how the day is gonna go, but we'll throw around some shrimp. Uh, there's a lot of people fishing here already, which is a little weird considering the weather, but hopefully we can uh, find some nice little spots to fish and get into a nice variety of species. So let's go ahead and let's give that a shot. All right, little half ounce sinker, a little bit of shrimp above that. This is not a great spot to fish, just because I know I'm going to get snagged a lot. But all the better spots are occupied by some fishermen that got up a little bit earlier today than I did. But I'm sure we can still catch some fish here. I just think I'm going to get snagged a lot as well. I can see some sergeant majors down there already, because of course I can. They're going to be everywhere. And I think I already had a bite. Let me check my shrimp. So if there's sergeant majors here close to shore, there's probably a lot of them out there. And like I thought, I did get a bite. I already got picked clean. So a lot of small fish out there. Let's see if we can catch some anyway. Here we go, first fish of the day. Little snapper. All right, fish number one is a little juvenile lane snapper. Really good looking fish. Let's get this guy back and let's get some other species out of here. There we go. This one's a little bit bigger than that little snapper. At least he's fighting better. And now he's given up. It's another little lane. Yeah, so I think this guy is a little bit bigger than the first lane snapper I got. It is just not all that much bigger. And yeah, not much else I can say about this guy. So let's get him back. Let's see what else is out there. got him another little guy let's see what it is oh, a little puffer alrighty so second species of the day is this pretty cool looking bandtail puffer I really love all puffers because of their novelty I just don't like catching a lot of them because they're hard to unhook but one is always cool so cool little bandtail Got him. Let's see what this is. Oh, sweet, a little file fish. All right, so I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a plain head file fish, but there's always an off chance it might be like a uh, pygmy file fish, which would be really cool. So I took some pretty good pictures of it. I think you got to count the uh, the rays up here to be 100% certain. It might be a pygmy, probably not though, it's probably a plain head. Either way, I like file fish, they're such a neat looking fish. So either way, it's a pretty cool catch. Got him. Let's take a look at this one. There's no shortage of action today. A lot of really good bites. We got ourselves our second band tail of the day. Yeah, so really good action today. A lot of bites. Basically within a couple seconds of my shrimp hitting the bottom, I'm getting a bite. And pretty good variety too. So I know it's our second band tail, but it's a cute little guy. So we'll get this one back and hopefully get some other species out of here.
There we go. What is this thing? First wrasse of the day. Yeah, so I could do without these guys. Not only are these guys really annoying to handle, but I've caught these so many times before and they're not really even that cool of a fish. So it's a little slippery d -ras. Got him. Little damselfish. All right, so I had a super, 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 super tiny little piece of shrimp on there left over. So I just made a quick drop here, uh, close to shore among the rocks for the first time today. And we got ourselves a little uh, dusky damselfish. So probably the most boring colored damselfish out there, but I love the shape of damselfish. I think just they just look really, really cute. So another new species for the day. All right, so we took about a 30 minute rain delay. Uh, we're back at it. The rain cleared out a couple of the fishermen in the spot I wanted to fish. So we're gonna be out here. The current's a little bit deeper. All uh, right, not the current's not deeper. The water's deeper and the current's a little bit stronger. So I put a two ounce sinker on. Let's flick it out here. Let's see what we can get. I also realized my GoPro had not been recording like I thought it would. It's gonna be a good five years, but it's time to get a new camera. So I don't know how much of the earlier session I actually got on camera but hopefully most of it now let's see what we can get here in this spot let's see what our first fish here is going to be all right little pork fish all right nice little pork fish grunt great colors on this one let's get it back and let's see what else we can get in this spot see what this is what is that oh it's a grunt a foul hook no it's not foul hooked another grunt all right the somewhat boring colored white grunt great colors on the face but one of the more boring grunt species you can catch out here Next fish on, looks to be another pork fish. Alrighty, pork fish number two for the day. The problem in this spot looks like there's a lot of sergeant majors in the water and they're all really, really small. And they just keep picking apart my bait and not even getting hooked and none of the other fish can get to them. So I got lucky a couple times and I got, what, two pork fish and a, and a grunt, a different grunt, white grunt. But I think I'm going to start casting deeper out, see what we can get deeper out, because close to shore, all I'm seeing are Sergeant Majors. There we go. Finally hooked up with one. This took forever. It's a little ras. All right, so this took forever. Out deep, I'm getting picked clean just as I was getting picked clean here close to shore. This is actually the first fish from out deep out of, I don't even know how many dozen bites. I even uh, sized down to a size 18 hook from uh, um, down from the size 12. And all we got to show for it is a little juvenile slippery d -ras. You know, let me just drop this down. Let me get a quick Sergeant Major to add for the count for today. And then I don't know what we're gonna do afterwards. Just like that, little Sergeant Major. Let's take a quick pick of this guy. And let's see what we can do here to try to get some more species, cause how deep 
I'm getting some bites, but no fish here close to shore. It's just hundreds of these little guys. So we're back in the first spot that I fished. That second spot just wasn't producing. I was just getting annoyed because I kept getting picked clean. So this spot produced pretty well before the rain when the tide was a little higher. And look at that, we, we already got a fish on first cast. Uh, so we'll fish here for a little bit, see what we can catch. Hopefully something cooler than what we've got so far. And then we will wrap it on up. Oh, this is something cool. This is a new species. Sweet, look at that. All right, so we switched spots around the first cast. We got a new species. This is some sort of a uh, sand perch type thing. I know I've never caught this before, but there's a couple different species and I'm not completely sure which one this is. So I'll have to do some research later, uh, but this is great. So I knew we, we had a potential of catching new species over at this inlet. Um, this isn't the one I thought we were gonna get, but it's still pretty cool. So let's get a pick of this guy. Let's get it back, and this just made my day. All right, what do we got over here? Another tiny, tiny little bandtail puffer. All right, so these guys are absolutely adorable. I think they're adorable when they're adults, but at this size, look how cute that little fish is. So we caught a lot of bandtail puffers today, and we caught two of these like super little small juveniles. So we might have found the little bandtail puffer nursery. This is just such a little adorable fish. All right, let's get him back and let's keep fishing. Got a little guy on. Is this another little juvenile puffer? <laughs> it is. So before today, I've never even caught a single bandtail puffer of this size, and today we got three of them, and they are absolutely adorable. Normally after a couple puffers, I get sick of them because they're a little annoying to handle, but at this size, like they are just super adorable. Look how cute that little guy is. Um, either way though, I think we're gonna get this guy back. And I think we are going to uh, wrap it up, call it a day on this one. Alright guys, so that's going to do it. Uh, pretty good day because we got one new species for the life list and that little perch thingy. Um, I knew this spot would probably be pretty good online, I've seen a lot of cool fish caught here. Uh, I thought we were going to get a new species of parrotfish though. I saw a lot of parrotfish here. I saw a striped parrotfish which I took a couple couple shots at and I couldn't get. A lot of stoplight parrotfish which I've caught before. But this seems to be a pretty good parrotfish spot. Um, here, the first and third spot I fished, uh, a lot of action. Seems like it's pretty good. The second spot I fished, kind of along that wall thing, a lot of sergeant majors. Also some parrotfish but their fishing is a little bit tougher. I spent maybe an hour there and did not get uh, much. Much better action over here on the side. So I'm pretty happy. I think I'm gonna make a couple more trips down here at some point in the future, because I think this spot has a lot of potential uh, to produce some new species for the life list. We got one today, so I'm really happy with that one. Hope you guys liked it, and I will see you guys next time.